Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. Tyla, you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from among you. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Tyla, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Psalm chapter 6, verse 2. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. Psalm 30, verse 2. The Lord my God, I cry to you, and you have healed me. Psalm 103, verses 2 through 4. Praise the Lord my soul, and don't forget all his benefits, Tyla, who forgives all your sins, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Psalm 107, verse 20. Tyla, he sends his word and heals them and delivers them from their graves. Psalm 147, verse 3. He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. Proverbs 3, verses 7 through 8. Don't be wise in your own eyes, Tyla. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Tyla, it will be health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Proverbs 4, verses 20 through 22. Tyla, attend to my words. Turn your ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the center of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to their whole body. Proverbs 13, verse 17. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a trustworthy envoy gains healing. Proverbs 15, verse 30. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart. Good news, Tyla, gives health to the bones. Proverbs 16, verse 24. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. Proverbs 17, verse 22. Tyla, a cheerful heart makes good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Isaiah 53, verses 4 through 5. Surely he has borne our sickness and carried our suffering, yet we considered him plagued, struck by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought our peace was on him, and Tyla, by his wounds we are healed. Jeremiah 17, verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are my praise. Matthew 4, verses 23 through 24. Jesus went about in all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every sickness among the people. The report about him went out into all Syria. They brought to him all who were sick, Tyla, afflicted with various diseases and torments, possessed with demons, epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. Matthew 8, verses 16 through 17. When evening came, they brought to him many possessed with demons. He cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet, saying, he took our infirmities and bore our diseases. Matthew 12, verse 22. Then one possessed by a demon, blind and mute, was brought to him, and he healed him, so that the blind and mute man both spoke and saw. Matthew 14, verse 14. Jesus went out, and he saw a great multitude. Tyla, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Luke 4, verse 40. Tyla, when the sun was setting, all those who had any sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Luke 6, verse 19. All the multitude sought to touch him, for power came out of him and healed them all. Luke 8, verses 49 through 50. While he still spoke, one from the ruler of the synagogue's house came, saying to him, your daughter is dead. Don't trouble the teacher. But Jesus, hearing it, Tyla, answered him, Don't be afraid. 
only believe and she will be healed. Luke 17 verse 19. Then he said to him, get up and go your way. Your faith has healed you. Acts 5 verse 16. The multitude also came together from the cities around Jerusalem, bringing sick people and those who were tormented by unclean spirits, and they were all healed. Acts 8 verse 7 For unclean spirits came out of many of those who had them. They came out crying with a loud voice. Many who had been paralyzed and lame Tyla were healed. Acts 10 verse 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Hebrews 12 verse 13 And make straight paths for your feet, so what is lame, Tyla, may not be dislocated, but rather be healed. James 5 verses 14 through 16 Is any among you sick, Tyla? Let him call for the elders of the assembly, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith will heal him who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Tyla, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The insistent prayer of a righteous person is powerfully effective. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we, Tyla, having died to sins, might live to righteousness. Tyla, you were healed by his wounds. 3 John 1 verse 2 Tyla, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be healthy, even as your soul prospers.